Great news everyone, in this video I'll be showing you two solid auto rifles that you should be looking for. And we're talking ad clearing machines, non-existent recall, smooth shooting, and great for champions and all. Hi! Hope you're doing well you wonderful people. Now listen, I may be as useful as a strict nat type when it comes to weapon reviews, but I have two weapons to showcase for you today. One you can get from just playing a complete open world drop that comes from umbral engrams or just random from any enemy and certain activity completions in the open world, and the other weapon being a targeted item, a strike exclusive auto rifle, which some of you guys might already be aware of from a few years back. Bungie doing a reissue. <laughs> I'm shocked. But first! This person has been following me and wants to talk to you for some reason. Hey, do you have a phone? Because I do, and my friends at Red Magic sent me one just to show you guys. So you're gonna listen to me talk about it. You know, I've never strayed away from console or PC when it comes to gaming, but with this phone, this is the Red Magic 7. This is legitimately the fastest phone I've ever used, and it's made specifically for gaming. And we're talking from the top of the line processor in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which is like really good. Fast battery charging, RGB lighting, and as we all know, that absolutely makes everything faster. And also, this thing can even run games up to 165 hertz. How? My monitors for my PC setup don't even go that high. Yeah, as you can imagine, the response time because of that is perfect, although it unfortunately shows off even further how terrible of a driver I am. One thing in particular that I really found cool is the fact it has shoulder triggers, which is part of the game space feature you can access while playing any game. You can basically map two buttons for wherever you want on the screen to easily emulate, well, you know, triggers. Put your right trigger on attack and put your left trigger on some sort of spell or healing. You're set! I still can't believe you can do all this on a phone. The game space feature also has a built-in screen recorder, so you basically have shadow play. Also barrage messaging, which is perfect for when you have that friend who is messaging you, who hits enter after every syllable and it clogs up the screen. Instead, you can read messages as they slide across the screen rather than it interrupting your gaming session of collecting mushrooms in a smooth 60 FPS. If you want to know more about this wonderful phone and get your hands on one yourself, they're actually set to be released on the 10th of March on their website. So if you're interested, go on over to redmagic.gg or, you know, Check the link in the description. Thank you Red Magic for sponsoring this video. The first weapon I'm showing you is the good old returning legendary auto rifle, the Duty Bound. I remember using this thing so long ago during the, what is it, the Warmind DLC? What a shredder. It is a 600 RPM auto rifle, so the sweet spot for many people and very usable in PvP, pretty much no matter what role you get on it. It'll always do a decent job. You can get yourself a duty bound at the end of a nightfall strike as long as it is in rotation. I believe it works at the moment as one week it's the duty bound and the next week it is the Silicon Neuroma sniper rifle. But I've also seen people say that the comedian is also dropping for a certain week, so I'm not entirely sure yet. I got mine during the first week of the Witch Queen and the role on it was okay. I mean, considering the potential roles for this thing includes the pairing of stats for all and one for all, or triple tap frenzy, triple tap rampage, or even triple tap and fourth times the charm, which by the way, triple tap plus fourth times, what? Now I know one of you guys watching right now has that role and you need to tell me how that performs because that sounds amazing. But yeah, my role of perpetual motion and rampage certainly isn't too bad, especially for Crucible. It's probably more sided for Crucible, to be honest. I don't really rate Perpetual Motion that highly, but hey, maybe it'll grow on me. And Rampage, I mean, Rampage is always welcome. Of course, thanks to Champion Mods being in favor of auto rifles this season, it can be used to good effect. Lost Sectors, Raids, Dungeons, you know, anything with Champions. Well, Overload Champions. You see what I mean, Champions still. Not to mention the new intrinsic perks weapons have. I mean, for the Duty Bound, you can choose either Stunning Recovery, which after stunning a champion, it refills your magazine or partially, triggers health regeneration and improves recovery. Genuinely a very S tier perk potentially there, especially if you get a Duty Bound to drop with triple tap and fourth times. Could be banging. And the other option being when you're not doing any champion activities, Vanguard Vindication. Final blows with this weapon grant a small amount of health. And again, very helpful perk to have. You know, if you're in Crucible, one eye mask plus that, I mean, that sounds stupid. And trust me, I've tried it, it's really good. I don't know why I'm whispering. When initially showing it off to you guys, when I first had it drop, I had a few of you tell me the recoil and the general stability of it is pretty terrible. And if that really does bother you, nothing that a counterbalance mod won't fix, so there you go. Stop whining. Now, as far as Crucible goes with the duty bound, well, most of you already know this season in PvP is pretty, 
How would you put it? Uh, Unpoggers? I don't know. Crap? Yeah, I don't know. I've had a few resets in Crucible already this season, and it seems like way more often than not, people are just sticking to the old reliable weapons and not really using anything new. So pair all those old reliables and the Void 3.0 overshields and all that shenanigans happening kind of makes it difficult using different weapons at times. Having said that, I am completely self-aware how much of a first world problem that is for a YouTuber, but you see what I mean, footage-wise. And don't get me wrong, it still does perfectly fine in most situations. 600 RPMs historically have usually been the outlier in the world of auto rifles being underwhelming let's say you may still get lorenz drivered or dead man's tailed but just know you're significantly cooler for using something different wow heli are you whining at people for using what's fun to them why should they have to use something that is inferior to what the meta offers? And wow, you seriously talking, just said big that? Oaf. You can't be telling plus people what L, to use. How plus dare you, my son, don't don't call me or my you know son what? ever Anthem again. wasn't that bad of a game. Next weapon. Ow. Now, as the utterly shambolic pun I made at the start of the video, the second weapon I'm showcasing is the Crate. It is a 720 RPM auto rifle from the Weist... Weist? Weist City? Hello? Am I saying that right? It's from the Weist family of weaponry. Now, this is a weapon I'm sure you've all seen at this point. You can find this thing pretty much anywhere. Handing in your umbrals, leveling up vendors, claiming the engrams, or even out in the open and patrolling about. You'll get your hands on one. And when you do, you want this roll. Behold! Stats for all, one for all. Stats for all, of course. Hit three targets and get increased stability, handling, reload, and range. And of course, one for all. Hit three targets and enjoy a 35% damage buff for 10 seconds. You're seeing the point here. The immense amount of synergy these two perks have. It's a must-have. They're made for each other. It works perfectly. Add clearing to the extreme, whether that's champion-related content or just public events. I don't care what you're doing. Battleground strikes, dungeons, doesn't matter. It's perfect. Get it. Well, I guess you can't right away. You can't like farm for it specifically. Still, look for it then. Keep your eyes out. The crate also has the potential of dropping with subsistence and one for all, which of course is another perfectly solid choice. My God, it's so good. I was busting this thing out in the raid and it's held its own perfectly fine. Apart from those awful small dreg shield wielding stupid three foot five scorn objects. Wow, your shield is obnoxious. Go away, reported. Anyway, the footage of the raid you're watching is from my first ever live stream on Twitch. So if you ever wanna watch me talk your ear off about why the crate is the best auto rifle and why scorn are the worst type of enemy to exist, come and stop by sometime. So for the plug. In case you're interested, it's there. Anyway, for Crucible, this is one of those weapons that just works. The sheer RPM of this thing will shred faces comfortably, especially with the damage perk Adagio, which when you get a kill gives you a 30% damage increase, but lowering your rate of fire during the buff, which is the entire point. More damage, less RPM. That's the trade-off. However, if you don't know already, this perk is not working properly with the crate, and the crate specifically. And thus, when you get a kill, you can enjoy the damage buff without your rate of fire changing at all. It stays 720 RPM. So you have a weapon with a 30% damage buff just for one kill. It's really good. Now I have no idea if this is about to be fixed or if the damage bonus isn't even fully there as the perk is already bugged, but either way, the crate is great at grating people's great overshields and grating their nerves. <sighs> that definitely sounded more funny in my head. Another cool thing which I keep forgetting to bring up is this weapon's intrinsic perk, Viced Stinger, which when damaging an enemy, this weapon has a chance to reload the entire magazine and also increase ADS movement speed. So at a random interval, you'll just get your whole magazine back. And from what I've noticed, this happens for me every three to four magazine shot on average. Now you can already imagine how unbelievably helpful this is with pretty much anything you're shooting. This has came in clutch in both PvE and PvP. Such a good perk on top of an already solid weapon. Have I mentioned this auto rifle is good? Because it's really good. So this has been my two favorite auto rifles so far this season. Surely most of you guys have the crate. Maybe a lot of you watching right now already have the duty bound god roll. And if you do, let me know how it is. And let me know what has been your favorite auto rifle so far. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, that really does mean a lot to me and help me out tremendously. Please do subscribe if you are new around here. Always happy to see new faces. And as always everyone, until next time, take care.